And so we have some unfortunate news. Well, what I consider unfortunate news uh, coming out of Subaru Matias camp, you know, and he, he is partying with his longtime coach. Um, uh, Panda, Jay Panda, you know what I'm saying? Jay Panda. So is this the end of Matias and Panda? Well, I don't really think it's the end for Panda because he still got some payments. I tell you, I'm good probably you will say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So we have some big news coming from the Subaru Matias camp. You know, Subaru Matias, man, the former lightweight champion. You know, he had his uh, homecoming fight to defend his championship uh, in Puerto Rico, spoiled by the Australian fi fighter who traveled a long way to snatch that crown. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people are, are who who formerly called Subaru Matias the boogeyman at 140, you know, they're saying that he's a fraud. Now, and I don't think he's fr a fraud. You know, I just think he lost to a better fighter, you know, a more determined fighter that night in Liam Paro. So there's not really, there's not really too much shame in that. But of course, you know, the current landscape of sports, you know, not just boxing, just sports in general. When you have a loss, especially a, a loss is considered an upset, one that you're supposed to win. You know, they tend to change things up. It started with the coach, and so we have some unfortunate news. Well, what I consider unfortunate news uh, coming out of Subaru Matias camp, you know, and he he is party with his longtime coach. Um, uh, Jay Panda, you know what I'm saying? Jay Panda. So, you know, I think Jay Panda's a good coach, you know. Um, but I, I think that's unfortunate news because I don't really like, I'm not really too fond of fighters switching things up drastically when they have an unexpected loss, you know what I'm saying? It could be many factors in many circumstances, but I want to ask this question Is this the end of Matias and Panda? Well, I don't really think it's the end for Panda because he still got some pay <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But I do fear the worst for, um, I do fear the worst for uh, Matias, man. I do fear the worst for Matias because not only were people already thinking that, you know, he may not be as good as we thought he was, which which I think he could bounce back. I think he's still a good fighter. I just think Liam Barrow was a better man. Um, and I did actually call that Liam Barrow would most likely get the get the upset, you know what I'm saying? And um, uh, prior to the fight, but I think that uh, Super Matias can bounce back and he's capable of bouncing back as long as he stays focused. But I do think that switching from a long time trainer, especially a, a, a trainer that I consider to be very good at Jay Panda, um, I think that might be a mistake, man, because I, I'm not sure being at, at 32 years old with Super Matias, not really 32, not too old, you know, it's not old at all, still young, but I feel like it may be kind of too late to to, to 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 take on a new philosophy from from a coaching standpoint so i i do feel the worst in this coaching move you know and, and with panda you know panda you know he has a pretty good stable you know he still has some stars left you know uh of course he just lost super matias who was still a title contender but he uh he, he still has um he still has uh kevin uh jack chakal or which is jackal um, Gonzalez, you know, he suffered his first loss against MJ Akhmadaliev, which is not a bad loss because he's another capable fighter and a, and a former Olympian. And of course, most famously, he still has William El Camarón Zapata, you know what I'm saying? And I had to think about it. Who would have thought <laughs> that the only one that would still be defeated out of them would not be Matias, the boogeyman, or Kevin Gonzalez, the, the jackal? It would be the shrimp. <laughs> Because the painter translates to the shrimp, man. So, you know, I think that's just that's just funny, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't know why he lets him call him the shrimp. But anyway, but yeah, man, he still has Zapata. So, I think uh, Jay Panda can still look up from here. You know, and Zapata coming off a nice win off against Giovanni Cabrera, Cabrera in, a, in, a, in a third round shellacking, man. Beat him in three rounds very impressively, you know what I'm saying? Because um, because Giovanni Cabrera went the distance with uh, oh, Isai Pitbull Cruz, which I thought that was, a, that was a good competitive fight. I thought Cruz won. Some people said it was a little shaky, you know what I'm saying? Could have went either way. But I thought Cruz, Cruz won pretty uh, handily, you know what I'm saying? But it was a close fight. But yeah, man, so I think that uh, with, with Zapata and, and so, not Zapata, sorry, with Matias and Panda uh, switching or, se or splitting up and separating, I don't think this bodes well for Matias, but I hope I'm wrong, you know, but I do think that um, Jay Panda, he'll get over it. He'll, he'll get some more champions. I just hope that Matias, whoever he goes with, you know, I hope they can maximize his talents and they can uh, help him get back refocused, you know what I'm saying, to see if he can bounce back to, to title contention, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. Do you think it's inconsequential to Matias' career? Do you think this is this doesn't bode well? Let me know what y'all think, man. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.